Hi everyone, welcome to another Tech Nerd tutorial. Today we're going to continue on with our Google Drive series where we've already talked about uploading and downloading files. And now we're going to talk about uploading and downloading folders. There are multiple methods of uploading folders to Google Drive. Therefore, we're going to explore three different methods of uploading folders to Google Drive and troubleshoot when you don't have those options. Furthermore, we're also going to download a folder from Google Drive and how do we do that and what are things to consider when that happens. So let's go ahead and get started. So there may be instances where I may already have folders that I have a proper structure to. So in my documents, I have this stuff folder. I already have some docs and PDFs and another folder with some more things like PowerPoints and Excels. And if I had to upload these one at a time, it could be quite tedious. So instead in Google Drive in the new view, under the new tab, there's file folder upload. Then a pop-up will appear and I can go to my documents, click on the folder I want and hit okay. This will go ahead and upload the folder to my Google Drive in its entirety. So then I don't have to worry about the folder structure. It will all be there. And when I double click on the folder, we see the important folder, the Word, the PDF, and then the Excel and PowerPoint. It's all there and you didn't have to do any additional organizing. So this is in the new Google Drive that I would be hitting that red new button. I'm just going to delete that and now I want to show another method for us to be able to upload a folder. So I first find that folder in File Explorer and I just move it so that I can see the backdrop of Google Drive and File Explorer and I can click and drag that folder over Google Drive and then I'll see an incoming. When I let go, then it will also upload that folder as well. So that's just a very quick way of just dragging and dropping the folder and then there are all my files once more. The next way that I can upload a folder to Google Drive is maybe you don't see this particular view. So maybe it looks very different. So in that case, you might still be in classic view. Classic view looks something like this where there is a upload button and a create button. My first suggestion is go to settings and go to experience the new drive because eventually it will change over the, to that anyways. So you might as well switch to the new Google Drive and use the previous two methods. However, if you're still in classic mode, you can click the upload button and upload folders. Once again, you get a pop-up. You can then find your particular folder and in that folder, you select your folder, you hit OK, and it will still upload in Google Chrome. The next thing to consider is those instances where maybe you've tried this dragging and dropping, or you've tried hitting the new button and you don't see an upload folder. So then what happens with that? So here you see that I tried dragging and dropping and it didn't work. The first thing that I want to note is that those options work best in Google Chrome. Here I'm in Internet Explorer. So the easiest way to remedy this no folder upload in the menu, this no drag and drop, is just simply to download and install or just use Google Chrome. If that's not an option, you can try leaving the new drive and going to Classic View and trying to enable the folder upload. Now, if this isn't already enabled, the difficulty of this is that you can go ahead and click it. It will give you instructions to make sure that Java is installed. And if it is installed, it'll just have an install applet button between download Chrome and cancel. However, if you don't have Java installed, here's where the problem begins. I went through recording all the instructions to download Java, to install it so that everything would be working with it. And even after all that, coming back to Google Chrome, the difficulty was that once 
all this was done, hey, congratulations, it's installed, I would go back and enable folder upload, but there still wouldn't be that install applet button for some odd reason. So my best suggestion is to just simply download Chrome. We can go ahead and click download Chrome. That's going to take us to the Chrome web page where we can just go ahead and click download now. You can leave the defaults. It's going to set Google Chrome as the default browser. We can hit that accept and install. And then it's going to say thank you for downloading Chrome. We're going to hit run and it's going to download the installer. We're going to get the pop-up for administrative rights. Unless you're a standard user, this will not pop up. As an admin, I'm going to go ahead and hit yes. Then it's going to go ahead and download everything that's needed. It's going to go ahead and install pretty painlessly. And then once that's all done, then it's going to automatically launch Google Chrome and then I'll be good to go. So it's pretty simple to set up and then you'd be able to upload and download folders from Google Chrome into Google Drive very easily from here. So that's why it's just easier to install Google Chrome than worry about trying to upload folders from something like Internet Explorer. If I want to download a folder from Google Drive, I can right click on it and there'll be a download option. When I go ahead and click this, it's going to say in the bottom right that it's zipping files and then it will start downloading the folder. If I double click that folder in Google Chrome, it's going to open up in File Explorer. I'm going to see the folder and I'm going to see the files in it. But I want to note that this downloaded the folder in a zip file. So there's going to be a little bit of strange incompatibilities if you're doing things like dragging and dropping. So right click on the zip file and click on extract all. This will give the option to extract the files into a new folder. And now this is an actual folder on your computer and I'll have all the same files, but now it's in folder and I can now download the zip file. The zip file is just needed to be a container so that it downloads all the files and folder structure in a single file as opposed to one at a time because Google wouldn't be able to download the folder structure. So now I can take that folder can move it to where I want it to go. And then now I've successfully downloaded a folder from Google Drive. Hi everyone. Thanks again for watching this video. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And go ahead and leave a comment down below if you have any additional questions or comments. Furthermore, check out some of our related videos or find us in our social media. If you would like email notifications of whenever we release new video or written tutorials, you can go to our webpage technerdservices.com and sign up for our weekly newsletter. We will send to your inbox notifications of those new video and tutorials. Thanks again for watching and until next time, keep teching on.